We've been talking about debit credit rules and the accounting equation and also showing the anatomy of the various T accounts or ledger accounts uh, of the various types. So, so far we've done all the assets we've come to know and love. So here's our liabilities, our stockholders' equity, our revenue and expense accounts. So let's just take a look at what you would expect to see as far as debits and credits are concerned. Accounts payable, that's a liability account. Let's see. Credits increase liabilities and debits decrease liabilities. So what would I expect to see in my T account for accounts payable on the credit side? Well, it's whenever I buy on account. In other words, whenever I pay, whenever I use my credit card instead of paying cash for something that I'm purchasing. The only time your accounts payable would go down is if you, what, paid uh, cash for the bill. So you pay your bill and you debit accounts payable and credit cash, right? Isn't that how you pay your bill or make your bills go down? So the normal balance that you would expect to see here is a credit balance. Why? Well, because usually you have more bills outstanding than you've what, paid. So you would probably never see a debit balance in accounts payable unless you've what? Overpaid your bills. All right. Li uh, that's liability accounts. Common stock and dividends are owner's equity or stockholder's equity accounts. We've talked about that stockholder's equity is increased by credits and decreased by debits. So let's see how that works. In common stock, when I sell, when I um, own, when there's investment in my business, I debit cash because I receive cash and I credit common stock because I'm giving them stock certificates. So common stock is increased by investors paying for stock. The only time I would credit common stock is if I retire my stock, which doesn't happen very much. So you're always going to see a credit balance in your common stock account. Why? Because you sell stock and this shows how much the owners uh, own of the corporation. Now dividends is our first what we call contra account. We say when we pay dividends to our stockholders, we debit dividends and we credit cash. Well, if I debit dividends, I notice I am reducing owner's equity or stockholder's equity. So when I pay dividends, what that debit to dividend show is that I'm taking the ownership out of the business and giving it to the what? investors. So paying dividends shows up as a debit. We don't usually credit dividends, so the normal balance that you would see in dividends is a debit balance. That's why it's called a contra account, because it's contrary to the norm. So debit dividends, because we pay dividends, we're making our ownership go down, contra account. Okay, revenue. Revenue is increased by credits, decreased by debits. So when I sell, I credit revenue, don't I? When stuff is returned, that's when the customer says, I don't want it. You have to uh, issue a return. So the normal balance that you'll see is a credit balance. Why? Because hopefully you're selling <laughs> and they're not returning anything. So that's revenue. Expenses, remember, acts like assets. So debits increase, credits decrease. Expenses are increased when it's used or consumed. In other words, remember, supplies expense versus supplies, rent expense, salaries expense, insurance expense, expense expense shows consumption. 
Do we ever go here? Can we ever unuse something we've already used? Probably not. So what kind of balance will you find in expense accounts? You'll find debit balances because it shows you've consumed it. So that's recaps of the anatomy of the liability, owner's equity, revenue, and expense accounts.